Hello, I'm Kimilia, and this is Kini News. Tiong has hit out at Sanusi over his remarks in the Kedah State Assembly sitting last week. He said he did not know whether to laugh or cry at Sanusi's insults. Tourism, Arts and Culture Minister Tiong King Singh has questioned if Kedah Menteri Besar Sanusi Matnor has lost his mind. He said this in response to Sanusi's remarks during the Kedah State Assembly sitting last week. Hari ini lihat ini Menteri Besar Kedah saya tak tahu dia punya otak masuk air ke apa. Tuhan pun kasi tuduh. Dia kata saya tuduh di bawah pokok pisang. Macam oh. itu tokong perut besarnya. Kalau you cerita sebegitu, you sudah menghina satu tokong lagi. On Wednesday, Sanusi reportedly hit out at Tiong saying that if he were to make fun of his face, it's like a bald-headed pot-bellied tokong. He had said this while criticizing Tiong for allegedly not providing any feedback during his meeting with representatives from the Thai government in southern Thailand on November 27. Tiong had accompanied Anwar on his working visit to the country. In response to this, Tiong said it was a bilateral meeting and questioned if Sanusi was asking him to take over the prime minister's floor. He then accused Sanusi of not knowing protocols and basic manners. Najib's legal team has highlighted how one of his cases has been hanging over his head for four years without going to trial. With this, they called on the court to grant a DNAA to Najib until the prosecution decides to bring the case to court. Former Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak has applied to be acquitted of three other charges of money laundering involving SRC international funds totaling 27 million ringgit, which he is facing at the Kuala Lumpur High Court. His lawyer Mama Shafi Abdullah told the Kuala Lumpur High Court today that the case has been hanging over Najib's head for four years since 2019. He then requested that the court issue a discharge not amounting to an acquittal in order not to prejudice both parties as the case has not been pursued at all. Shafi said if prosecutors make a different decision later, the case can then be brought back to court. However, Deputy Public Prosecutor Mohamed Ashraf Adrin Kamarul objected the DNAA bid, instead seeking for the criminal court to give the Attorney General Chambers another three months to consider Najib's letter of representation. He pointed out that the 27 million ringgit SRC case was previously allowed by the criminal court to be stayed, pending disposal of the 42 million ringgit SRC case against Najib. Judge K. Munyandi then said January 19 next year for a final mention of the case and reminded the prosecutors to make up their minds by then on whether to review the 27 million ringgit SRC case against Najib. On February 3, 2019, Najib had pleaded not guilty to three money laundering charges that involved the alleged accepting of proceeds from illegal activities amounting to 27 million ringgit via his three bank accounts. He had sent a letter of representation to the Attorney General's chambers seeking a review of the case. The case has been postponed several times since 2019 due to Najib's other criminal cases. Anwar has hinted that there could be a cabinet reshuffle this month. He said this when asked about the matter after Friday prayers today. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim has agreed with a suggestion to have a cabinet reshuffle before the end of the year. He said this when quizzed by reporters after performing Friday prayers in Putrajaya today. In a light-hearted exchange, Anwar had asked 12-year-old Akmal Hafiz Yasir Arafat, who attended the prayers at the mosque, to ask the question. He then asked the boy when he should undertake it. Akmal uh, Chadang bila? 2024. Oh, tunggu 2024. Ha. Okey, mana sebelum 2024? Sebelum ke selepas? Uh, se sebelum. Sebelum, okey. Dia jawab sebelum 2024, saya setuju. Previously, it was reported that Anwar was preparing a major cabinet shake-up amid speculation that such a reshuffle is imminent. One of the reasons given for the reshuffle was to fill the post of the domestic trade and cost of living minister following the passing of Salahuddin Ayyub. Dr. Mahathir has urged the MACC to allow Aman Palestine to send aid to Palestinians in Gaza. This is as the situation there is expected to worsen during winter. Former Premier Dr. Mahathir Mohamad has urged the MACC to permit Aman Palestine to channel some 10 million ringgit in aid to Palestinians. This is as the situation in Gaza is expected to worsen during winter. 
In a post on Twitter, he said, unfortunately, MACC is investigating Amman, Palestine, and its accounts have been frozen. Due to this, the 10 million ringgit cannot be channeled. He said that MACC could continue its investigations, and at the same time, it could also send an officer, together with Amman Palestine representatives, to ensure that the aid reaches Palestinians. Otherwise, he said the MACC is also torturing the Palestinians, who are already suffering because of Israel. MACC has frozen 41 bank accounts belonging to Amman Palestine and other company entities involving some 15 million ringgit. This is over their investigations into alleged misuse of donation money. Following this, Amman Palestine clarified that allegations of wrongdoing arose because of its policy not to channel donations through the Palestinian embassy in Malaysia, but directly to the people. The MACC responded to his suggestion this morning. Azambaki reportedly said that they cannot release the funds until investigations are complete. The MACC has responded to former Premier Dr. Mahathir Muhammad's call for them to unfreeze Amman Palestine's bank account and allow the NGO to channel some 10 million ringgit in aid to Palestinians in Gaza. MACC Chief Azambaki said the MACC is still investigating the veracity of the previous transactions and claims. NST quoted Azam as saying that the MACC cannot simply release the funds until all investigation is completed and clarity is obtained over the accountable use of public donations amounting to millions. He said the MACC views the case seriously as it is a matter of public interest and will likely to set a precedent on how public donations can and cannot be used. Yesterday, Mahathir had urged MACC to permit Amman Palestine to channel aid to Palestinians since the situation in Gaza is expected to worsen during the winter. Mahathir said while the commission could pursue its investigations, it could send an officer together with Amman Palestine representatives to ensure that the aid reaches Palestinians. The MACC had froze 41 bank accounts belonging to Amman Palestine and other company entities involving some 15 million ringgit. This was related to investigations into alleged misuse of donation money. Zakir Naik's lawyer has confirmed that P. Ramazami paid 1.52 million ringgit in costs and damages to Zakir. The lawyer said the money was transferred on November 17th. P. Ramazami has paid 1.52 million ringgit to Zakir Naik as part of the Islamic preacher's defamation suit against him. Zakir's lawyer, Akbar Din Abdul Qadir, confirmed that the former Penang Deputy Chief Minister made the transfer on November 17th. He told the media today that the funds are now being held in the client account maintained by the law firm acting for Zakir. He added that if the Court of Appeal later dismisses Ramasamy's appeal against the entire defamation ruling, then the money can be transferred to him. Last month, the Kuala Lumpur High Court had found Ramasamy guilty of defamation and ordered him to pay 1.45 million ringgit in damages and 70,000 ringgit in cost. In 2019, Zakir filed two separate suits against Ramasamy over the latter's public statements. The first was linked to his controversial trauma at Kota Baru, Klantan on August 8, 2019. The second was in relation to the 2019 mass arrest linked to the alleged attempts to revive the defunct militant group, the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Ilam. And that is all for me today. For more stories, you can go to kinitv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook for the latest news updates. If you'd like to support independent media, do consider subscribing to malaysiakini.com. I'm Camilia. Thanks for watching.